before the seismic upheaval that would shape the northern fringes of the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau, an unusual phenomenon captured the attention of local residents. The skies were filled with an unsettling congregation of crows, low in the urban areas, as if nature itself was offering a mysterious warning of the impending catastrophe that would soon unfold. Then, at precisely 11.59 p.m. local time on Monday, December 18, the foreboding atmosphere crystallized into a grim reality. A seismic force of nature, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake, struck the region, transforming the once tranquil and majestic mountainous landscape into a chaotic tableau of destruction and emergency responses. The epicenter, nestled in the heart of Jishishan County, Gansu Province, unleashed seismic shockwaves that rippled through the rugged terrain, leaving devastation in their wake. The earthquake, occurring at a relatively shallow depth of 10 kilometers, heightened the impact, tearing through the Earth's crust and causing widespread destruction. Emergency workers, grappling with the urgency of the situation, embarked on search and rescue missions in the aftermath of collapsed buildings and at least one landslide. Meanwhile, those who found themselves suddenly homeless were left to confront the harsh reality of an imminent winter night, spent in makeshift tents at hastily erected evacuation sites. In the ensuing hours, the region experienced a series of aftershocks, numbering 9 by 10 a.m., approximately 10 hours after the initial quake. The largest aftershock, registering a magnitude of 4.1, added to the challenges faced by already stretched emergency responders. Photos and videos captured the urgency as students at Lanzhou University hastily evacuated dormitory buildings, clad in long down jackets over their pajamas, reflecting the sudden and disruptive nature of the earthquake. Experts at the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences provided insights into the unexpectedly high number of casualties. The shallowness of the quake, despite its relatively moderate magnitude, resulted in more intense shaking and consequent destruction. The predominantly vertical movement of the seismic activity exacerbated the situation, causing buildings in this economically disadvantaged area to suffer disproportionately. The challenges faced by the affected region were further compounded by the ongoing seismic activity and aftershocks.
Emergency authorities in Gansu found themselves stretched to capacity and issued an urgent appeal for 300 additional workers to bolster search and rescue operations. Reports from Qingai officials highlighted the perilous situation of individuals trapped in landslides, adding a layer of complexity to the unfolding disaster. As the affected communities grappled with the immediate aftermath, a myriad of challenges emerged. Buildings, though standing, bore visible cracks, leaving residents Have unsure gone, about the safety of their homes. <laughs> The question of whether to stay put or seek alternative shelter for the night added to the uncertainty that permeated the region. The mountainous expanse of western China, forming the eastern edge of the Tibetan Plateau, has a history of seismic activity, making earthquakes a somewhat common occurrence. However, the difficult terrain and the lower quality of infrastructure in this relatively poor region compound the challenges posed by such natural disasters. In the wake of this earthquake, the resilience of the affected communities and the ongoing efforts of the emergency responders would be pivotal in navigating the arduous journey toward recovery. The long-term impact of this seismic event, both on the physical landscape and the lives of those affected, underscored the need for sustained support and resources in the face of unpredictable and unforgiving natural forces.